Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike835 again, bringing you another G-Shock review and unboxing. What is up, guys? Let me dive into this G-Shock review that I'm just about to do. And uh, before I start, I want to give a shout out to all the people um, uh, rating, comment, subscribing on my videos, all my supporters, all my friends over at, you know, that little thing of ours, the whole TCF crew. Big up to all of you guys. And let's get into it. Pop a top like Mike835 says. You know how I do. And check this out. I just got this yellow 5500. I've been after this one for a long time. As you see, like the color is simply popping, and it's like a real, it's not a strong yellow, let's say like a G6900 uh, solar. It's more like a, like a light, like a freaking lime yellow, like lemon drop, really, really intense, as you're seeing here in the video review. The particular model that I'm reviewing is the G5500 TS-9DR. That square box down there below the model is 3160. That is the module of this particular watch. And as you see here, this watch is a tough solar. Shock resist, 200 meters water resist, world time, and full automatic backlight. This interesting uh, watch is the 5500 series. Me, myself, I love the 5500. It's uh, people rather love them or hate them, but I think they fit great on the wrist and are a good size, generally a little bit bigger than the 5600. And it's the double strap design. And uh, this is the city code model, Tokyo. Two of these uh, models were released in 2009. They have this model, which is the yellow one, and they also have uh, gray one which uh, is part of the city code lineup that uh, Casio G-Shock brought up with the 5500s this is the yellow model they both have this clear keeper as you see here I'm really glad to find it in like a brand new condition it's not it hasn't started to smoke or yellowish so it's a really nice pickup that is the back plate on it the G5500 TS and like I say, the, um, it's a tough solar watch, as you see here. Let me zoom in. Give you a little bit more of a perspective. As you see here on the bottom right-hand corner, you see LMH. That means low, medium, high charge. This uh, watch currently is sitting on high charge. Of course, tough solar watch. Very clean interface. Positive display. Let me uh, notice the little smudge there. Let me get it into that. There we go. And uh, I'm really glad to pick up this nice piece. It's really uh, an interesting yellow, and it's a must-have to uh, for me uh, personally to complete my city code collection. I'm going to show you why they call this model the city code. The gray one, when you press the backlight, it says NYC for New York City. And this particular model, the yellow one, when you uh, hit the lights out and you put that backlight, you have this TYO for Tokyo. So here you go, TYO. So it misleads you, it's not a limited edition, but it does have custom backlight. And uh, this is like an old stock from 2009. I can't believe I got my hands on this. So really happy. And let me turn on the light for you guys again. You can see it's awesome yellow. It's, it's not really, it's, it's sort of like a cartoonish yellow. That's how, that's how I could probably describe this model. It's not, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's not like a G6900 intense yellow. It's more of like a cartoonish, like it's just hard to describe yellow, but it does look awesome with the uh, gray buttons on the side here. Super clean piece with a clear keeper. Let's see what this says up here. Casio, China, and that is the back plate there. Really glad to pick up this model, guys. Add uh, this one to my city code collection. Of course, there's a yellow one and the gray one. I was missing this one, so had to have it. Again, thank you guys for watching my review on the G5500 TS-9DR. I hope you did enjoy my video. If you did, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, click on that subscribe button. It really does help me, and uh, I wanna, give you guys a shout out. If you guys are watching uh, my video 
I'm sure you guys watch uh, Jose or G Dub on YouTube as well. Please uh, help him out. He's almost uh, to a thousand subscribers, and I would love him to get into the 100. Well, I'm sorry, 1,000 subscriber um, sort of like crew. Anyways, if you are seeing uh, G Dub's video on YouTube, please be a support to him and click on that subscribe button. He's almost at a thousand subscribers. To us, it means a lot. Uh, we uh, review G-Shocks and we're not, you know, you were not Lady Gaga or um, or a little Wheezy or anything like that, but we do put a lot of hard work and give you guys a good video review all the time. So please support us. I'm over a thousand subscribers now, so thank you guys. Big thumbs up right there. Thumbs up to the side, gangster. Anyways, support G-Dub and click on the subscribe button. he really appreciate it as well as I do. Again, thanks for watching. It's Mike835 again signing out. Later. Peace out, guys. Love you guys.